Part 18. Green Mail In the developed world, there are fewer threats to human life, and that's why many people are bored. Threat finding becomes a profitable business. To receive a large-scale research funding, a threat itself is not so important, but the anthropogenic factor, which can be endlessly thought, is. Green mail companies allow their members to obtain significance. A real concern for the environment is present in locations where people have high living standards, say in Japan. However, in India or Russia, the smell of rotting garbage worries people, but only in a token way. Half a century ago, more than 2,000 nuclear warheads were detonated, causing not so much harm to the planet. This means that military men don't fear and an economically weakening country can launch a massive strike. Military engineers had half a century to place nuclear weapons on an enemy territory and in natural seismic activity zones. If such a military conflict happens, all the other speculations expressed by ecologists will pass into oblivion. One blow won't destroy the civilization, but the decades of wars will gravely set it back. In a thousand years, there will be no trace of the modern life activity. Archaeologists will find structures made of concrete and study them just as we study Egyptian pyramids. On the subject of influencing the planet, people are not even a match to shellfish which soiled the entire planet with chalk. We use their metabolic byproducts 100 million years afterward. There were several global warming periods and the Earth became a paradise for flora and fauna. During the times of change, organisms capable to adapt will develop. The prohibition of genetic engineering implies fears that something or someone will inevitably become healthier, perfect, and more attractive. However, the Earth has got lots of hidden and uncontrolled territories and a huge cushion time to make it all happen. The legal activities are conducted within the framework of decency. The prohibited activity is fraught with surprises.